Tanchi fair townspeople, and to all those in the thread of the global Iron Mind Village. And welcome to Iron Mind Metal Monday, my most brutal learning opportunity as of late, the birth of Brutal Struggle. Now, before we get into the birth of Brutal Struggle, I would like to take this opportunity and say, may the 4th be with you to all those Star Wars fans who are delving into Jedi Proverbs and the infinite wisdom that they provide. You may notice I am wearing my almighty All Shall Perish, May the Rot Be With You t-shirt. It is probably one of my most cherished band t-shirt canvases, and I thought it rather fitting that I could sport it today. Now, for those of you who have been watching and reading or may just be brand new to Iron Mine Middle Monday, let's delve into this philosophy of brutal struggle, its origins, if you will. First, we have to look at one of the philosophical dichotomies of which I have built my paradigm around. And that is, we can either live in a state of beauty or a state of suffering, pain, or, or pleasure, light, or dark. We are either moving towards that which progresses us or we are regressing. There is no really in between. And so, I had, I had to look at my life and evaluate, how can I look to live in a more beautiful state? How can I embrace those periods of life that many find so challenging or overwhelming or look at as doom and gloom and say, where is the beauty in this situation? How can I use this to further progress myself, reframe and forge an iron mind that is resilient, that looks to engage with adversity and challenge myself. How can I do that? And so I started to look at the way some people around me or even myself were starting to talk about their days. Ah, oh, I had the worst day. I had the worst situation. I was stuck in traffic for so long. It sucked. It was terrible. And I started to think to myself, well, really all of those things just sound, they kind of sound brutal. Sounds really metal. You know, brutal is really the foundation of metal. Looking at the tough situations in life, the injustices, and very much structuring lyrically and musically on how one can overcome and move through those situations. So I, I said to myself, what if I started to reframe those situations as brutal? What if there was a news network that instead of coming on and saying, Millions of terrible things happened today, and now here's a picture of a cat. They just said, today in the news, it was a pretty metal day. <laughs> it was a pretty metal day. Now, on to you, Allie. How's the weather today? Well, it's raining outside, and there's a hurricane. Glad to say it's pretty metal, everybody. Have a great day out there. And I said to myself, oh. If I can reframe things as brutal, as opportunities to struggle, to engage with adversity, to challenge myself, to say, man, this is a difficult situation. How can I look for the growth opportunity in this? I understood that that is indeed finding the beauty in a situation with which so many would succumb to suffering. Thus, you mix brutal, beauty, or beautiful, you merge them into confluence, a stream, and you therefore have brutal, brutal learning opportunities, looking though at those adversities, those things which challenge our paradigm to think differently, to expand our sense of self and our conceptualization of limitations in the world, and look to struggle through beauty. 
to look for the brutal learning opportunities in every day. And that is something that has been absolutely foundational in changing how I view the world and how I engage with others and how I question and coach and guide other people to reframe the way they think about situations and move through their lives. Because it's so easy to play the victim. It's easy to not take ownership. It's easy to suffer. It's comfortable, unfortunately, for most people to suffer because they don't have to change. They don't actually have to look at what is the cause of many, situa of, of many of their situations, and that is their responses, how they choose to engage with those things. And when one chooses to struggle through broody, when one looks for the brutal struggle in those situations, how they can grow, how they can progress, how they can refine their character through the forge of fire towards enlightenment and transcendence of their spirit, their sense of self. That is when day after day, consistently, somebody moves closer and closer towards being a professional human being. Inhibited, uninhibited, uninhibited expression of who they are as a genuine person. That is what Brutal Struggle is all about. And I love that I can take an incredible music genre that has virtuosity, lyrical depth, and use that as a philosophy, as a foundation to build my paradigm of thought, my frame of mind on how I move through the world. And I feel very blessed that I can share that with other people because it's just an incredible tool and an incredible way to move through the world in a much more brutal fashion. So once again, I would like to thank all those who invest their time and energy to watch and read each week. Those are the most precious resources they have. And I'm truly grateful that you choose to invest that time and energy in these messages. If you could like, share, comment, subscribe, ask questions, and make a quality sacrifice to appease the YouTube algorithm gods, I would be ever, ever so grateful to you. Until next week, Marcy, struggle through beauty.